<laughs> um, theme of the stretching today is going to be uh, hips, glutes and back. I'm going to try and get through as many as I can. Um, yeah, we'll get going. Ready to start? Never been ready. Never been ready for stretching. This is the, we don't this actually need, good for me. We don't actually need these rollers, they're just there for show. Oh. Um, so first off, you can have your feet together, okay, and then you're driving your knees down as much as you can, and then you're going to stick your bum out and keep your shoulders back. So you should feel the stretch in the hips. Go to where you feel is comfortable. Got your yoga breathing going on. <laughs> Darth, Darth, Darth Vader, of course. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Nose alone, Luke. <laughs> we're going to keep this theme, so you're going to still keep your feet together. What you're going to do from here is you're going to lay yourself back. So this might feel a little bit tight in the hips, but if you can just relax into the pose, it will start to loosen up. And then roll yourself up to seating. does sound quite sad, but if you can control your breathing, it does make a hell of a lot of difference, especially if something feels quite stiff. Um, we're going to go into or sitting on our bums. Feet is going to be just outside of hip width, and we're going to go internal, external rotation. So we do this one a lot in the gym. This is quite nice. So we're going to just prop our hands down, keep our, butt, our torso upright, and then you're going to just turn your knees in and out. Okay, rolling onto the side of your feet, so your feet don't move, it's just your knees turning in and out. If it feels quite stiff, you can always just um, just take uh, hold onto the pose a little bit longer. And you can always turn and just fold over that over the leg. So the sides. Lovely. This next one, you're going to feel a little bit like you're tangled up, but there is a purpose to it. So you're going to tuck your foot underneath you. So tuck your right foot underneath you. So it's by your glute and then pop your other leg on top. So you're crossing over. Okay. This top leg is doing the anchoring. Okay. So your left leg is going to be um, anchoring down your right leg so that when you reach your right arm over, that leg stays pinned to the ground and you should feel the stretch in that leg. So you should feel this all in the side of the hip. If not, you can reach a little bit further, even anchor yourself down a little bit more with that other leg. And we're going to swap ourselves round. So left leg in, in towards the bum, cross the other leg over the top, anchor it down, and then you're reaching over, 
with the other hand. How's the hip so far? Still hips. They're still there. Man, don't do enough dance. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, we're going to detangle ourselves. We're going to get into our well known Spider Man lunge, okay? So. Hands out in front, take one big step up next to the hand, and then you're just gonna lean yourself forward. Get comfortable here. Back legs should be dropped on the ground so it is resting, so that you can really focus on driving yourself forward, thinking about keeping your chest upright, looking up. I feel this in both hip flexors, but you might feel it in just one. We're gonna stay on the same leg. If you can, we're gonna drop ourselves down to our forearms. The leg that is up can just float out or you can hug it right in close to the arm, whatever feels more comfortable. If you can't get down, don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Big breaths and try and melt into the pose. If your hip flexors are tight, be quite uncomfortable. And gently walk yourself back up. We're gonna swap legs. So keep yourself upright for now, looking up, chest proud, pushing yourself forward. And then drop down, if you can, onto your forearms again. Either let that leg up be floppy out to the side or pull it really close into the body, whatever feels better for you. Walk yourself back up. We're going to go into another sweat it favourite. So we're going into pigeon. So take your hands out in front of you. You're going to take your right leg and reach for your left arm. Okay, the more um, you can get this leg at 90 degrees, the more you're going to feel the benefit of the stretch. So you can sort yourself out. Just take a minute just to get yourself into that better position. And then you're pushing the other leg, knee backwards. Okay, that leg's going to stay flat on the floor, stabilising you. You can keep your chest up to, for, to start off with and we can um, melt into this pose just like we did with the Spider-Man lunge. And then if you can, drop it onto those forearms.
So you can either stay here or we can increase the stretch by um, grabbing onto the back leg, okay? So you're lifting the back leg up, <laughs> pulling it in towards your glute. So you're... <laughs> I'll turn this way. So it looks like... Oh, I'll go. <laughs> And swap your legs around. Yikes. Again, try and get yourself comfortable getting that foot into that 90 degrees. You're gonna feel more of the benefit in the hip if you can get it a little bit further up towards that wrist. Dropping onto those forearms, getting a little bit lower. You can even fold all the way down if you can. It's just gonna increase the stretch however further you can get down. And again, either stay or you can grab onto that foot, pull it into the bum. Gently come out of that one. We're gonna go into a half kneeling pose. So from kneeling, take one leg out in front of you. Okay, so you've got 90, 90 degrees on both legs. And then from here, you're gonna reach your arms up into the air. And if your left leg is forward, you're gonna take uh, your right wrist and you're gonna lean over to the left side. If you are got, if you've got your right leg forward, take your left wrist and lean over to the right side. Okay, so you're aiming for the opposite leg that's forward. Push your hips forward slightly. You can have a little bit of a back bend, but not too much. We're thinking about opening all this side and all down here in the hips. You swap the legs around. Get comfy first, arms up in the air, grab onto that wrist and then drift over to the side. Lovely, staying on your bums. Again, this one's quite a common one. We do this one in the gym. Taking one leg, taking it over that um, flat leg. So if you've got your right leg out in front, you're gonna cross up your left leg over. And then from here, we're gonna add a twist in. So you're gonna twist over that leg that's crossed. So if your left leg is up, take your right arm, twist yourself right round to the left-hand side looking far over that left shoulder. And 
And we're going to keep our legs crossed, but we're going to twist the other way. Putting both hands on the floor and just leaning yourself down. And swap your legs around, right over left. Big twist round, so pushing that uh, arm against that cross leg, turn yourself right round, looking over the shoulder. Keep that leg crossed, but we're going to just turn around the other way, both hands on the ground, leaning yourself forward. And you can unwind out of that one. Hopefully you're still with us. We are gonna go onto our backs next. So just laying onto your back, take your left leg into your hand and bring it in towards your chest. So squeeze it as much as you can. We're gonna feel that in the glutes, feel that in the hip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let that leg drift right over us, our body. So your left leg over to your right hand side, use your hands to take it over and your other hand is going to stay anchored on the floor. So try and keep both shoulders on the floor and you're just twisting at the leg. Bring yourself back to neutral. Take out your other leg, bring it in close to your chest. Give it a squeeze. We're just gonna hold it for 10 seconds before we drift it over. And then use that hand, drape, drape it over the body. Keep both shoulders on the floor. Take it to where as far as it feels comfortable. So we're going to remain on our backs, but we're going to go for a figure four stretch. So it's crossing ourselves over again. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your left leg. We're going to cross it over our right knee. So your ankle should be right over your knee. And then you're going to lie on your back. And as you do, you're going to take both hands, bring it underneath your right hamstring and you're putting that in towards your chest.
and I'm cross your legs. We're gonna cross over the other one. So right leg over left knee, lying yourself back, pulling under that hamstring, pulling it in towards your chest. One part two. And tangle yourself out of that one. The last ones we're gonna do is we're gonna be on all fours. We're gonna go for cat cows. So this is a really good one for loosening off the back as well as focusing on neck and the hips. So we're gonna go for the cat pose. So bringing that spine up towards the sky, separating the shoulder blades, chin to chest. And then as you take a big breath in, you're gonna look up to the sky, bring those shoulders together, draw that belly button down to the floor. Big breath in, we're going the other way. Spine up to ceiling. So cycle through these as much as you need to. Spend a couple of seconds in each pose. And then just to finish off, we're going to go for a child's pose. So if you need to, you can separate the knees out, out a little bit just to give you a little bit of room. But you're going to take your body position low, hands by your side, and just let your hips come back towards your feet. Let everything be floppy here. And roll yourself up when you are ready. Loose, loosey goosey. Loosey goose. <laughs> <laughs> loose. Hope you enjoyed that, guys.